So this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. This is a brand new phone that just came out a couple days ago, and I'm really excited to go and use it here for the very first time. So what we're going to be doing specifically is just going and playing Call of Duty Mobile on it. So it should be a lot of fun because this is my first time ever using a Note device, and it should be a lot of fun. So I already took out a lot of the things here already, but I will go and show you guys what the phone looks like here. So this is what the front display looks like, and I will say this, I have no idea what to really expect with this phone. I haven't really watched that many videos about this or just like seeing what the screen looks like in general. I'd have to imagine what the game will do is it will take up the whole entirety of the screen here, so that's something I'm really looking forward to. And also here's the back just in case anyone else is interested in that. I'm not really gonna be using the camera that much because I'm just only gonna be playing Call of Duty Mobile on this, but still nevertheless, it should be a lot of fun and we just might as well hop right into it. So here we go guys, this is Call of Duty Mobile on my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So it's really cool how easily my account was able to go and transfer over and I still have all my stats so we don't have to go through the tutorial mode. And the interesting thing here is, so this is the front facing camera and I don't know if that's going to interrupt throughout the gameplay. I don't know how that's going to go and affect me at all. Whoa, this is really interesting. So with this device, with the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, in terms of the graphic quality, the highest is only very high. I was expecting to reach whatever the max level would be. So that's interesting that this phone can't go all the way up to the highest setting there, but everything else kind of looks normal. Like this is the same exact settings that I would have on my Razer Phone 2, but I guess it'll be interesting to see kind of how the game plays and if there's any weird lag that happens throughout the game, but still nevertheless, I was expecting for the graphics to be amped up at least a little bit here. So I have my phone hooked up through my Elgato now, so the quality should be a lot better, but it would appear that there's some black bars that I'm seeing that's actually not on my Razer phone too, so that's going to be interesting to see how that's going to go and play out, but I guess with that said, we might as well hop into a multiplayer match and then just see what it's going to be like here. I feel like Frontline Nuketown should be perfectly fine here. And I don't know, this is just going to be my first ever game, so I don't really know what to expect. I don't know how this device is going to go and perform. I don't know if it's going to perform poorly or how good, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And oh man, I should have probably changed some of my settings here around, but the game looks really stunning, I will say that much. The game looks really, really solid. So, I don't know, oh gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, I have my, so my settings are kind of jacked up right now, but whatever, we'll, we'll go through with it, so I'm assuming, oh yeah, no matter whenever I aim down, or whenever I'm shooting, I always go right for my, uh, my aim down sight, so I don't typically have that, I typically have it in which every time I go and shoot, it will automatically go and just start with the hip, and then I have to manually aim in, oh! Whoa, but yeah, like so far, this device is really smooth, especially on like very high settings. And I actually read one of your guys' comments yesterday and you said that in terms of performance, this device is only a little bit better than my Razer Phone 2. Oh, we got two guys over there. Oh, nice, nice little double, okay. And oh, bang, all right. What did that guy give me with, an M4? Ooh, that M4 looks really good with that blue sky camo, all right. Dang, this is a pretty close game here as well. And, oh, no, don't, no. The hunter killer? It, like, went right into the car. Oh, did it just get a double kill? It might have. All right, we got this. If we can get this game, if, if my very first Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus game can be an epic victory, that'd be insane. Whoa, where did that guy go? There was a guy, oh, guy right over here, a guy on my back. Yeah, this definitely, oh no, that's a sentry gun. So in terms of performance, this phone is is definitely a lot more smooth, it feels like, compared to my Razer Phone 2. Now, I bought this for um, 1,100, and so, so like you can easily imagine, it's not a, a cheap phone by any stretch of the imagination. And it's weird, because when I was unboxing it, and this is, like, this should technically be a new phone here, I did notice a little crack in my device, so I'm obviously going to have to go and return it. I don't know if I'm going to go and buy 
another phone here, but I will say this, like the game runs smooth with this device and I am just getting crushed right now, oh my gosh. But typically when I'm just moving around like this, there's just a hint of lag that I'll get. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this game was just so unfortunate. So here we're gonna be jumping into a raid domination game and it'll be interesting. I'll be sure after this game to go and compare my Razer Phone 2 to this device right here. Because the screen seems a lot wider, or like bigger lengthwise, than my Razer phone. And maybe that's why it's causing the black bars that you guys are probably going to be seeing in this video here. But yeah man, this is, uh, this is definitely a smoother experience, if I do say so myself. This is only my second game. And I will say this, I'm not being sponsored by Samsung to go and do this whole review here too. And ooh, let's go. Is that a guy? Oh! That was an interesting gunfight. Might as well toss up some of my streaks here. And hopefully, because we did lose that last game, hopefully we can go and do a little bit of redemption here. And if you guys are interested, be sure to go and subscribe. If you're interested in Call of Duty Mobile, feel free to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be, that'd be insanely awesome. But I just barely squeezed out that kill. We'll toss out another... Hunter Killer Drone here. It's the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 was supposed to have Call of Duty Mobile preloaded on the device. And I even made a video about this. And unfortunately, that was not the case. So all those like news outlets that made videos in regards to this topic, um, I don't want to say they lied, but they definitely gave us some misinformation there. So yeah, man, in terms of performance, this phone is definitely doing a really solid job. I'll probably give you guys my short-term review of this phone right after this game here, after I, I'm done kind of like comparing it to the Razer Phone 2, and ooh, that was a pretty awesome shot. Okay, let's toss up some of my streaks, guy coming over here, nice, toss up this UAV, and we might as well go and help with this B capture here. We might actually be able to go and pull out with this win here, and I do want to say this, if I haven't said so already, I don't typically play... Oh, I don't typically play with my settings in this way, so it's a uh, abnormal performance, but <laughs> surprisingly I'm able to go and pull this off. Oh, one guy pulling over here, nice, okay, let's toss up my streaks here. And if you guys have been watching the hand cam, sometimes I will misclick a little bit. Because uh, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, like a couple months ago, that was like my first time hopping back onto uh, the whole like mobile gaming uh, atmosphere you could say. And it's really interesting kind of go and adjust because I did play PUBG Mobile back in its heyday. And it's kind of difficult having to just go and adjust back into, because I'm like a Xbox player. So it's kind of hard just going from controller now to just like playing on mobile a lot. So. There's definitely a learning curve there, but it's, uh, it's fun. <laughs> um, and also, I think, yeah, th this game, this game should be pretty much all set to go. For some reason, they're capturing all the weird objectives like A and C. Okay, at the moment, oh, wait, oh no, my death machine. <laughs> my death machine there went away at the worst time possible. Oh no, just jump. Oh, that's game. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and then this is my Razer Phone 2. In terms of the length, they're like pretty much the exact same thing here, but in terms of the Razer Phone 2, it has like these two speakers, so it won't take up the whole display while the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 does, and you can kind of see the scratch right there if my phone will focus in. Yeah, it was kind of weird, and I did not do that too, so I'm expecting a full refund to be coming my way shortly here, but yeah, so this is just, in terms of a comparison, just between my two phones that I go and play Call of Duty Mobile on, but ladies and gents, be sure to go and let me know if you're interested in going and purchasing this phone. I would really like to know if you are and I don't know, just in terms of performance, it felt really smooth. Is it worth the $1,100 that I went and paid for the device? I would probably have to say no because of the Razer Phone 2 is actually like half that price and it was still able to go and play Call of Duty Mobile on very high settings. So in terms of performance, they're almost the exact same way. I would probably give the edge just a little bit to the 
Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here, but nevertheless, I really had a lot of fun going and using this device, but do I think it's worth it? I'd probably have to go and say no, unfortunately, but nevertheless, feel free to go and let me know if you guys want me to go and play the Battle Royale section of Call of Duty Mobile on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, so be sure to go and let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go end the video here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to go and give it a like. If you guys are new around here, be sure to go and subscribe for future Call of Duty Mobile videos. As well as feel free to go and check out any of the other Call of Duty Mobile videos that you guys are seeing on screen right now. But with that said, my name is Parker. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful, fabulous day. I certainly am. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.